Right, finally gonna be finishing the power steering setup. I didn't I don't think I showed in the last part of all the extra stuff I have. So freak. So I have six foot of NT or a six foot of PTFE hose. But this is not enough. So I have more coming on the way. Uh, I think an eight gauge fuse. I think I might need this. I'm not too sure. I have this 90 degree for this hose. This is this piece right here. The adapter. This goes from 6 a.m. to whatever this is. So it's this. This one is uh, 6 a.m. to the rack and pinion. Some wire and more wire for that. I am gonna, I am gonna put all the part numbers in the description. I just want to show you what I have right now. I am waiting in the mail for a six foot fuel hose, I think. But it's rated for, I can use this for this, so. We should be chilling on that, I'm just waiting on that one. I am gonna uh, loom it all after I'm done. Try to keep it all nice and nice and clean together, but I'm not too sure how much I need. So I'm gonna wire it right now, but I'm not gonna connect it, but I'm gonna wire it to the front and see how much I need. Get to it right now. Just gonna solder these two together real quick. So the plan is, um, shoot, I'm gonna cover these two extra wires. I think these were for the something. I don't know what it was, but I'm just gonna loop them together like that and have them together. Uh, loom them up and put them under the. Try to put it under the carpet, but it's gonna have to split off because one's gonna go to the battery and one's gonna go to a 12 volt switch. Ignition, ignition. That's what I meant. Yeah, get on it right now. I got ground going to here. And I have these two. These have a three wire. There's two of them twisted together. And that last one uh, is um going to a 12 volt switch. So the two wire, I plug them up. They don't have nothing to do. They don't work. For this kind of setup so that single wire I have it all the way loomed up to the front with the 16 gauge wire and I'll show you right now all right I have it ran under the seat and the carpet but you can see it right here this is it this is the 8 gauge for the battery and I have a 16 gauge in there for the to turn it on and off and it splits up here. See, you can see the battery going to the front. And right here is the 16 gauge. And it's going, and that 16 gauge is going to a, my cigarette lighter. My cigarette lighter is a two wire connection. It's a one, the power is yellow and the ground is black. So I just cut the yellow wired it to that 16 gauge that goes all the way to the back and when I turn on the key it turns on all right finally got the parts to finish the high side or high pressure side so get on it I do have that adapter right here that I covered because there was some fluid in there but I'm gonna run this one. This is six feet. I'm gonna run it all the way to the front, and I know I don't have enough, so I have this little coupler. 
six second coupler to which is gonna go to this one to that one to the rest of that one so get on it right now all right this is my first time ever using PTFE hose fittings so hopefully I don't mess up but I saw a couple of videos on it you take this collar off, slide it in first, like that, and you do need to brush out the braided line, the steel braided line. Figure that out right now. I was able to put it in, it's all flat on all sides, I hope. Put this one in all the way. Then I gotta tighten this all the way. All right, got it pretty tight. I can't pull on it. Hopefully it doesn't burst. Praying. Alright, I have the, um, the new hose already on. I just snugged it up because I'm not too sure how it's supposed to be. I have it ran to the front. Alright, it's going to be like this for a little while. Um, just ran inside the car because I don't want to have no harsh kinks in it. This is pretty free, f this is pretty free flowing. But eventually I will try to make it a little bit more cleaner because eventually I do want to run my um, my return and high pressure side of the fuel when I put a fuel cell but that's not yet I just don't want to have like four six a.m. hoses just in the inside looking weird but but yeah I really don't want to have the hose uh, ran under the car because the car is low kind of low and I do want to go just a little bit lower, so I I really want to try to eliminate all hoses under the car. I know, I think the only things are the brake. I don't know what I'm going to do about the brakes, the brake lines. But I know for power steering and eventually the fuel hoses are going to be ran inside the car. This is the adapter for the high pressure side I have an extra EK subframe and it's gonna go right here I already took it off just to test it out but just to make sure you put that washer too before I just want to show you guys how it looks outside the car because it's really compact on the inside or under the car so I have an adapter to go to that little hard line that goes from this rack and pinion to a 6AN. Then I have a 90 degree. Uh, so right now I'm going to loosen it up, take it all out. I'm going to clean it up first actually and take it out. But this is the hardest part I feel like because I really don't want to drop the subframe to make sure it's like tight. So figure it out. All right, so everything is nice and plumbed up now. Now I just gotta finish wiring it. I also made sure all of this was tight too. Looking pretty solid. Hopefully, I really hope it doesn't leak. Or, yeah, I just really hope it doesn't leak. Cause that would suck to get power steering fluid all over the inside. Boom. Now, got a fuse. Now I'm gonna fill her up. Show y'all a trick. 
I poured a good amount. I already poured one quart of this. Shoot, you can't even see it. All right, I'm going to stick with um this one. It was kind of pricey, but it was... I had to do it. All the other ones say do not use with Honda or Acura. I thought I was going to spend max 20 bucks, but ended up spending, spending like $40. These are like $18 each. But you got to do what you got to do. So one is good amount. Maybe if you got like a one and a half a quart would be good. But I'll show you this right here. Little trick. See that you get a little light and you point it in there you can see how much you have in there so the dark part is the fluid i'm just under a minimum so i'm about to put some in right now perfect You can hear it in the back, it's pretty loud. All right, let's see, moment of truth. Ooh, ooh, you still need, you still need just a little bit of force, but this is way much better. I couldn't do this flat. I cannot do this flat, by the way. Only when it's a uh, car is rolling, but man. So much more better. Freak. Yup. So much more better. Actually goaded. Now let's try it without, without it. <laughs> I need two hands to do this. It's possible. I just need two hands to do it. I've been driving like this for like the last two years. But now. Let's try it again. Boom. That's what's up. Actually goaded. Alright, so the power steering line was leaking just a little bit. I had to take it apart. I ordered a new one, put that one back on, and it was perfectly fine. I think where the olive is at, it was leaking pretty bad. Um, I had it in the car. It's, you know, it's right here. It's right inside the car, so do not recommend getting what I did here, just get a straight line. 6 a.m. from the front, 6 a.m. to the back, nothing, uh, couplers in the middle, so do not do that. Sucks. But yeah, she's all good now. Um, I would say get a uh, 6 a.m. 10 foot line, the nitrous line, or 12. You can make that work, but she's working good now. So I'm gonna show you guys how it looks while driving. One hand, one hand right here. Ooh, sauce. Easy. start doing u-turns whenever I can now finally boom I know I'm big and strong but sometimes I need to take take some time off from using two hands just trying to turn the car in the parking lot, but it's so mo it is it is worth it. Honestly, honestly, it came around from like probably around three hundred dollars, I think, maybe two fifty, maybe three hundred. But honestly, it was worth it. I really didn't want to put a stock power steering uh, setup. I kind of I just wanted to have uh, an electric. 
I was going to do a column power steering, but I heard some mixed reviews about it. Honestly, I made a really good choice for doing this power steering setup. Honestly, if you guys are thinking about it, just do it. Just do it. All right. I want to say thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hopefully soon, start cooking some other stuff up, to be honest. But stay tuned. Bye.